Good Monday morning, friends. Oh, it is freezing here again. When we got in the car this morning, my temperature gauge said one below, so definitely not as cold as it has been, but it is cold and the sun is out, and I hate that because the sun is so deceiving. You think that it's warm, and it isn't. <laughs> So it is a Monday morning for sure, and normally on Mondays, I have my husband at home to kind of help in the mornings. Mondays are kind of crazy because the kids have been home all weekend and whatever, but he had to work today. Um, he took Friday off instead because I am going to school with Willow for the morning and I'm going to make pizza with the kids. So that will test, test me big time. <laughs> um, so I had to do it all myself. And yes, I know there are mothers out there. My mother reminds me every time I say something that she was a single mother. But I'm used to having help. <laughs> so I had to get all three kids ready. I don't usually have to take Alora with me. Um, when my husband's home, she can stay home. I usually run Grayson across the road to our bus stop that's there. We wait for the bus to come, then we jump in the car and head to school. Um, Grayson doesn't get on the bus until about between 7.45 and 7.50. And my daughter has to be at school by 8.15. And we're, you know, 20, 25 minutes away. I'm sorry for the sunlight. So it's a dead, a mad dash every morning when we go to school. Well, when Alora is with us, it's too cold for her to stand at the bus stop. So I throw my son in the car, I take him to school, and then I bring my daughter to school. So it is now 8.30. I just stopped at the store to get a couple of things. Um, I am starting my three-day egg fast this morning. So when you are watching this, it will actually be all three days and hopefully a summary of how everything went. I have been kind of um, yo-yoing the same couple of pounds for the last couple of weeks and I'm really kind of stalled. And in there I had one cheat day. Um, it was planned. It was for Laura's birthday party. I ate cupcakes. I ate pizza. I ate chip and dip. I allowed myself to have a day. However, somehow out of that, I did gain a couple of pounds. I know it wasn't all like actual weight. And I really feel like I'm holding on to a bunch of water right now. Um, so anyways, I'm doing the three day egg fast. I am doing this egg fast in collaboration with Aaron from Aaron Does the Keto and with um, Aaron from Aaron Keto Hot Mess Express. I think I said that right. I love her. If you guys have been following Aaron from Aaron Does the Keto at all, of course you are. Why wouldn't you be? Um, they are YouTube best friends, and the three of us are going to do this three day egg fast. Um, so this morning, I didn't show it to you. My kids had my phone. I did have a cup of coffee with two tablespoons of heavy cream normally, especially on an egg fast. I would have a bulletproof coffee. My stomach didn't feel great this morning when I woke up. So the last thing I really wanted was like MCT oil or butter. So um, I have a dozen eggs at home hard boiled. I have regular eggs. I just stopped and got some more cheese. Um, so my understanding of the three day egg fast is basically eat as many eggs as you want throughout the day. Eat both the eggs, the yolks and the whites. Most things I've seen says to eat an egg 30 minutes after you've woken up. I didn't do that. The last thing I want to eat first thing in the morning is an egg. But it does say for every egg that you consume, you have one tablespoon of fat and one ounce of cheese. So 
I've already had two tablespoons of fat this morning, so I'm gonna go home and have two eggs and two ounces of cheese uh, for my morning meal. It also says to drink lots of water because obviously if you're eating nothing but eggs and cheese, you don't want to back everything up. So I've already had one 22 ounce tumbler of water. I'm still working on my coffee and my heart mug for Valentine's Day. My coffee is super cold. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to um, see what happens and see what we can do in a couple of days. So I will have both the other channels linked in the description bar below. So please go and check them out if you haven't already. If you are here from their channel, welcome. Um, a little bit about myself. I am a mom of three. I have a six-year-old boy, a four-year-old daughter, and a one-year-old daughter. And I am a stay-at-home mom. I don't get to stay home very often, um, but that is my title. <laughs> I have, both my kids are in two different schools, my big kids are in two different schools in two different towns. My daughter only goes for half a day, so I have to have her at school at eight, between 8 and 8.15. And then I have to pick her up at noon. So my days are pretty crazy. I have been doing keto since... September, mid-September, and so far I've lost just shy, well I guess it depends on which day you take my measurements, I've lost about 30 pounds, um, I've lost 30 and then I've gained a couple pounds back and then I've lost it again, I've gained a couple back, I've been really yo-yoing, so um, before this I did Weight Watchers and I lost 100 pounds and then I got pregnant and had a baby um, and so now I am trying to get down 45 more pounds to my goal weight of 150 and I will be happy so that's kind of my background um, I love keto I technically guess I do lazy or dirty keto but I do keep track of all my macros um, most of the time in dirty or lazy keto you only count your carbs I track on Carb Manager and I track all of my macros every day. I track my calories, I track my fat, I track my protein and my carbs. And I try to stay within the parameters that the Carb Manager app gives me. So all of that being said, welcome to my three day egg fast. I, truth, this is true life. I bought everything and got ready to start the three-day egg fast last week. I lasted until supper the first day and I gave in. <laughs> my life was so crazy and by supper time for some reason I was starving and I couldn't eat another egg. So I have been researching last week different recipes so that I don't get bored, so that I don't get egged out, which I'm sure I will anyways. Um, but I've been checking on a few things to see if they are or are not um, egg fast friendly, such as things like um, hollandaise sauce, which I made last night to put on some salmon. Um, instead of making it with lemon juice, because I know lemon juice has a little bit of carbs, I used white vinegar and eggs and melted butter, and that was it. So I am going to count that as um, egg fast friendly. I will use it as a fat because I only used four eggs, but I got easily eight to 10 to 12 servings. I got a whole jar out of that and I'll just be using a tablespoon or so. Um, so I will count that as a fat. Um, so I do have that if I would like to do something a little different. Erin uh, from Erin Does the Keto said that she was making cream cheese muffins. I probably won't do that this time, um, but I will 
would probably make the pancakes. It's basically the same um, ingredients, just cream cheese and eggs and then like a sweetener or whatever. Um, and you make a bit of pancakes or I guess she's gonna make muffins. Um, but yeah, so I will show you when I get home my little breakfast. Um, I'll probably heat my coffee up because it is like ice, ice, ice cold. And I will show you the few things that I got to help me get through this egg fest. I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay guys, so I am home. I'm going to eat. I wanted to let you know a little bit about um, what I have to get me through. So I have a dozen hard boiled eggs in the fridge. I have a dozen and a half of regular farm fresh eggs that we get here from our own chickens. So they are technically, they're not pasteurized, but they are fresh every day. So that is what I eat for eggs. Um, I have a bunch of cheese. I have mayonnaise, I have heavy cream, I have butter, I have everything that I'm going to need. Um, I did buy some Mio to get my electrolytes in, so I am on my second tumbler of water. I heated my coffee up. There's two tablespoons of heavy cream in here, so that is my fat so far, my two fats. Right here I have two hard boiled eggs with salt and pepper. Let me grab the cheese so I can show you. This is the cheese I am eating this morning. They are just um, hell of a good cheese curds, zero carbs, um, nine fat per ounce. So that's 20 ounces of fat right there in those two ounces of cheese. Um, I will be doing a quick video on this um, planner, but I will show you how I'm going to be tracking everything uh, during this egg fast and for the next foreseeable future of my life. So this is um, a love stationery planner. Keep a look out. Hopefully today or tomorrow I can get a video um, filmed and uploaded. So before you see this of this planner, it is not, I guess it's not, doesn't have to be keto specific, but it does have like keto quotes in it and it's set up to track keto macros so for today I just have so far I had my coffee with two tablespoons of heavy whipping cream I don't think I'm going to track my macros for the three days um, but I did weigh myself this morning and I was up a couple of pounds I have been drinking water like it is my job uh, the last couple days it's really cold here my lips are really chapped and I've been drinking like one and a half gallons of water every day for the last couple of days. So I think I'm holding on to some water. No big deal. I don't really care. Um, so I'll be just tracking along. This is one whole day. Uh, breakfast snack, lunch snack, dinner snack. I probably won't eat that much, but I will keep you updated. Um, I think what I'm going to do is just insert pictures of my food and have a sit down with you at the probably at the beginning and the end of each day to keep you updated and to keep let you know how I'm feeling. Um, but I don't want this video to be too long. So I'm going to go and I will insert pictures of the things that I eat today. And I'll see you back tonight to let you know how my first day went. Bye guys. Hi guys. So it's um, about 10 of 12. Just getting ready to pick up Willow from school. Brought a blue Raz bang with me. Um, I have now had three of my 20 ounce, 22 ounce cups of water. So I decided to have the bang. And I will probably be having deviled eggs when I get home for lunch. So I will keep you posted. I was going to bring you along on this ride but I'm having trouble with my phone again, my camera. For some reason, it will go for like 30 seconds and then it shuts off. 
I've tried resetting the camera settings. This time we're at 45 seconds and it's fine. But literally this is like the ninth time I have tried to film in the last 15 minutes. I don't know. So I'm at the school. I'm going to go in and get her, enjoy my bang on the way. Guys, it is lunchtime. It is 12.40. I'm going to finish my thing. This is the blue raz. For lunch, I have three deviled eggs. I'll insert a picture, but I have three deviled eggs with three tablespoons of mayonnaise, a tiny bit of Dijon mustard, salt, pepper, garlic, and then there is paprika on the top. And then I have two ounces of this Colby Jack cheddar. I'm going to save one ounce um, just because that's a lot of cheese at one time. I'm going to save one ounce and have a cheese stick for a snack this afternoon. Um, so right now I am all caught up except for that one ounce of cheese. Um, and I'm home. I just got home from school. She's having a snack. She's having an egg and some grapefruit. So I'm going to eat and I'll see you guys later. Can I have one Say bye. Bye. So I'm going to do a really quick recap of day one and I've decided that I'm just going to <clears throat> upload each day. I think there'll be enough. There'll be too much video to put it into one. So it is actually the next morning. I forgot to close out last night. Um, day one was really good. Um, I had eggs three different ways yesterday. I tried to keep it really simple for the first day, um, but I tried variety. I had hard-boiled eggs for breakfast. I had, um, deviled eggs for lunch and scrambled eggs for breakfast. Um, and I'm going to try to kind of step out even more on this second day. Um, I'm going to try to do things that are just eggs and fat and cheese, but in ways that they don't look like eggs and fat and cheese, um, just so that I can get through today. And then tomorrow I'll probably go back to doing three easy, um, just egg dishes. I did lose like 2.7 pounds, uh, from yesterday morning to this morning. I got in 132 ounces of water yesterday, uh, so I peed all night long. Um, but I'm feeling really good, like uh, really clear-headed. I had lots and lots of energy yesterday. Um, the only thing, I had my coffee in the morning, and the only other drink I had yesterday was one bang in the middle of the day. I had so much energy, like clear-headed energy. Um, <clears throat> I feel really good this morning. I'm tired, but I'm a mom, so I'm always tired. But I'm ready to conquer my day. I'm ready to go. So I think I am going to make my second day a success. Um, so yeah, it was a great day. I will insert pictures of everything I ate uh, for supper last night. I didn't film, I just took a picture. Um, I had three scrambled eggs. I had two tablespoons of butter that I cooked it in. And I had two tablespoons of cheese, I mean two ounces of cheese. I used one ounce of cheddar and one ounce of the smoky bacon cheddar cheese. They were so good. I'm actually contemplating having it again for breakfast. It was so good. Um, I do want to try to make um, either cream cheese pancakes or cream cheese eggs, but I guess I could eat those for lunch if I wanted. Um, and I think for supper tonight, I'm going to do um, I can't, like a cloud bread grilled cheese. I will figure that out and it will be in the next video. So anyways, 
I did really well yesterday. I stayed on. I was quite a bit over my fat on my macros, but I'm not overly concerned about that for these three days. I did track it just to see, and everything else was pretty straightforward. Um, I think I had six carbs. Um, I was just about right on with my protein. I was about 25 grams over on my fat, but I even held back a little bit. But I think at the end of the day, I had eight eggs, seven, seven tablespoons of fat, and six ounces of cheese, I think. So all in all, it was a great day. I hope everybody else had a great day. And if you are questioning an egg fast, of course, I've only done one day so far, I would seriously suggest to do it. Um, don't be scared. There are so many recipes out there um, to have a wide variety. And give it a shot. Even if you did two days, who knows? I, I don't know. So I will see you guys in today, which is tomorrow's video, whatever.